In this video lesson, we're going to be going over the spare land subdivision practice question and getting started. Here is the problem, and we have been asked to calculate the length of the pipeline running through the land, and that is going to be the section A or the, uh, the segment A to C. Now, looking at the information we have, we have one side, two sides, and the included angle of 60 degrees. So that should tell us we're going to be using the cosine rule to set that up. And please remember, even though this says A, C, and D, you might need to change those letters to fit the formula. So the formula sheet here for our cosine rule, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of angle C. So substituting in everything from that problem, that is the top part right here, 40 squared plus 50 squared minus 2 times 40 times 50 times the cosine of 60. Please remember, with the cosine rule, it is C squared. So after you have your working, you got that that AC squared was 2100, you got to square root that. So from A to C, 45.8 meters, go ahead and add that in, 45.8 meters. So there's one skill done, and from here, it's going to be up to you to whatever you see to do next. Since you now know a side and the opposite angle, you could use sine rule to find this angle, uh, angle ACD, or you could use the sine rule to find DCA. Um, or, since you now know all three sides of this triangle, that's what I went ahead and did next. Please know the only thing that needs to be recognized is that AC has to be done first, because considering what the given information is, only thing we can use from the start is the cosine rule to find AC. All right, now I have posted this mahi to our classroom page, and what I went and did next was find angle A, C, B. Okay, so angle A, C, B is what I found next, and since I know all three sides of this triangle, triangle A, B, C, we can now use the cosine rule to find the measure of the angle. I've got that working here, cosine of angle A, C, B. There's the working setup and from the formula sheet. I put that here as well. In case you were wondering, how do we go about going from this rule, which is the cosine rule for side length, how does it turn into the cosine rule for an angle? Well, one thing we should remember is when something changes sides from one side of the equal to the other, it changes the operation. So this minus 2AB cosine C, when it switches to the left side of the equal sign, it's now positive. And this positive C squared here, when it changes to the other side, it's now a minus C squared. And if I want to get 2 times A times B times the cosine of C, if I want to make the cosine of C the subject of my equation, well, how do you undo the multiplying? That's with dividing. So there is the cosine rule for angles, and we now see that angle ACB comes out to be 40 point six degrees. Um, now make sure you do at least three skills. If you just use the cosine rule over and over, not good enough. So that's why I went ahead and for angle ABC, I use the sine rule. So the sine of angle ABC over 45.8. Again, if I want to find this angle, I must know the length of the side opposite that. And since I now know angle ACB, and the side length opposite that, that's what I used to find the measure of angle A, B, C. For this last one here, you could just subtract those two from 180 or use the sine rule once again, but that is our achieved level right there, being able to find the length of the pipeline and then show two more skills. We've used the cosine rule to find a side length. We've used the cosine rule to find the measure of an angle, and we've used the sine rule to find the measure of an angle. So as long as you do those three skills, you've got your achieved. I'll be back in the next video talking about our merit to excellence level skill. Thanks for watching. Maori mahi, Maori ora, kakiteano.